In this video, we're going to look at uh, keyboard control. So we're going to look at putting a little tank onto the bottom of the screen here and then get it to move left and right across the screen. So it's a very simple tutorial, this one, and we'll deal with um, firing missiles um, from that tank in a, a later video. So the first thing we need to do is drop a picture box. Again, we go to the toolbar, put pick, and drop a picture box to the bottom of the screen there. Just lift it up. Um, you can change the size of the screen. I'm just going to leave it in that default position. Um, the size doesn't matter at the moment. And we're going to go to Google like we did before and search for a tank. Now, um, in true tradition, there's one I found earlier. So I'm just going to save this to my drive. You can pick out any one. I just picked one that it looked like it could fire upwards. And I'm just going to put tank um, on this one. This one happens to be a PNG file, but it's still um, a GIF, so it should still work. If it doesn't, then you just go and pick another one, simple as that. So I've downloaded uh, that one to my drive, um, and hopefully it'll be in the folder when I go and get it. I'll just double check that um, to make sure it did go there. So uh, save as image and it should have done yeah it should have gone there right so i'm going to go to uh here and again exactly the same as before i go and choose the image and uh, choose local drive import and there it is there's a tank there so i uh, click on that open and again exactly the same you can see it's about um four times as big as the screen so we're going to have to uh put it into stretch mode and as before we click on the tank once and we go to um, its back color and we change it to uh, web transparent okay now we can size it up a bit so it it can uh, it looks a bit more chunky there we go there's a nice little tank there now what we have to do is we have to add a listener now to the form so you must click on the blue bar at the top of the form just once so you now make sure that in your properties windows you've actually selected the form you can find that out by looking in this area at the top here so now we selected the form we click the little lightning if you hover over it it says here properties and events so click the little lightning there and then scroll down until you can find the key here you've got the key and then we want a key down so every time they press the key something will happen so we double click on that and we get a new um, subroutine and this one is a key down event now this is very important this little e here because that tells you that variable there um, key events argument tells you which key has been pressed so we need a simple switch case statement now um, so we click in here and we write switch and in here we use the e and we pick out the key code very important key code there that will tell us which key's been pressed and then we use the uh, curly brackets top and bottom of our switch case and then what we write in here is the case so we want case and we want keys which is the variable that finds because you know it automatically selects it there and we want to in this case um, have the right arrow so that's a right arrow on your keyboard and remember it's a full colon at the end of that and we also need to tell it what to do when that is pressed so what we want to do is we want to have the picture uh, change position now there's one thing we forgot to do so let's go back to the picture and click on this picture go back to properties and we need to name that tank properly it's really important that we name it tank so I'm going to put pick, oops, pick tank. Um, Ross, we won't be able to find it basically in the code. So that's now called pick tank. We go back to our code here uh, and, we f and we carry on writing. So we look for pick uh, tank. There it is there. Um, and then we put uh, basically dot left. And we just go uh, plus 
equals one. So that means that it will go one space if we hit the right arrow. And then we need to put a break underneath that. It's very, very important. And now all we have to do is do exactly the same for left. So what we're going to do is left and right. So we need to go right, keys, whoops, uh, keys, left. And then we can basically just duplicate this code here because um, because programmers are kind of lazy. And then we just need to change that plus to a minus so it goes the other way so we've got plus equals one minus equal one and that should move the tank left and right okay so um so now uh, we need to go and test the program so we run it there you go now uh, use the arrow keys and you can see that the tank can move left and right. It can't do much more than that at the moment, but hopefully um, we'll be able to shoot the dragon before it can collect the rings. Um, not very friendly, but there you go. Okay, so the idea of this game, um, I've just invented the idea, is to shoot the dragons before they steal your, your rings, basically.